Studies have shown cigarette smoking causes about one in five deaths in the United States annually. While vaping was previously considered to be a safer alternative, recent headlines have demonstrated an alarming rise in e-cigarette related illnesses and deaths. Joining us is Neha Sastry, an epidemiologist with the City of St. Louis Department of Health to discuss why smoking of any kind can be detrimental to community health. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Well, we'll talk a little bit more about the why once sure. we understand more about what you do with the Department of Health. Tell sure us about thing. your work. So as an epidemiologist, I work on looking at data and understanding trends of illness and disease in the City of St. Louis and then using that information to try to implement things that can help the people in the city. Okay, so we've been made aware that cigarette smoking is bad for us. Yes. Tell us the why. What does cigarette smoking do? Sure, uh, so cigarettes have over 200 chemicals in them, including formaldehyde and nicotine. Um, formaldehyde doesn't sound very mm -hmm. nice. And nicotine can be addictive and can cause injury to the lungs as well as other parts of your body. Right, so that's a learning we've had over the years. Yeah. But this e-cigarette thing has been yeah. uh, on the rise and kind of a new phenomenon. Tell us the difference between e-cigarettes or vaping yeah. as it compares to cigarette smoking. So e-cigarettes or electronic cigarettes are basically using a liquid that's heated up into an air vapor that is then inhaled through the lungs. They're also known as mods, e-hookahs, vape pens or jewels. I'm so glad you added that because <laughs> I feel like I've heard that in other yeah. dialogue. So then it's been considered as an alternative to smoking or uh, actually maybe a way to help people stop smoking? Yes, yeah, so some liquids that are used have nicotine in them as well as THC or CBD oils. And while those were previously used to help people get off of cigarettes, um, now more and more people have started using them. And because of the other chemicals that are put into them, they are causing illnesses mm -hmm. among several people throughout the U.S. So what is, what is the impact, uh, the illness, or what kinds of illnesses are arising from e-cigarettes and smoking? Sure. So um, one of the biggest things is called vaping lung disease. Patients are experiencing um, shortness of breath and other lung-related issues that's presenting very similarly throughout over a thousand people currently wow. in the U.S. We're hearing more about it. Why does it seem that there's a rise? E-cigarettes have been out um, for several years now. Why does it seem like it's more, there's a more of an awareness for the effects and the impact? Sure, yeah. So um, I think they mostly began gaining popularity around the time that hookahs were also gaining popularity. The previous conception was that you were basically use it, inhaling flavored water vapor, but because of the additional things that can be added into them, such as nicotine and THC, as I mentioned earlier, these products are causing illness among people who do use mm -hmm. them. So the chemicals are creating reactions in our bodies. Yeah. Well then take me back a little bit to the hookahs, yeah. because there's hookah bars and people are having hookah parties. Yeah. What's a hookah and how does it work? Again, so uh, those use charcoal to heat up the water. Um, that has a flavor added to it. And because you're inhaling that vapor and because there's charcoal in it, there are also other chemicals that can be added into it. Um, with the vape pens and e-cigarettes that you see nowadays, um, about 78% of the patients that are currently being treated have reported using vape products that had THC in them. And THC is, stands for what? Uh, tetrahydro uh, cannabinoil. Let me rephrase that question. Yeah. What does THC mean? <laughs> So, what, what, um, what kind of uh, chemical is that? That is a chemical that's commonly found in marijuana products, okay. um, but it's also being used in a variety of other components. For sure. So then the appeal then, what are, why are people flocking to vaping and to hookahs and what is the, yeah. I guess, the appeal, the draw, the... So as I said earlier, it's mostly just the concept that initially it was just a water vapor that could be inhaled and it wasn't necessarily something that was harmful. Sure. But And the same thing was thought to be of hookah at the time when it was first introduced into um, people's to into people to people so because you were the idea was if you're inhaling water vapor it's not right. necessarily harmful but because of the smoke component to it because of the charcoal component to it and the other chemicals that can be added into it it's possible that it's just wow. as harmful as cigarettes so it's uh, much more than water that we're working with here definitely stay with us at STL live we'll learn more about dangers the dangers of vaping and the public health's recommendation on what should be done we'll be right back Thank you.